In this video, I'm going to review the Smart Wool Hunt Socks. These socks are super nice. They fit a very specific category in the hiking, climbing, camping, hunting sort of realm. And I'm gonna show you the differences between these socks and a couple of the other socks that I use on my mountaineering and polar expeditions. Now, the Smart Wool Socks, you might say hunting. Oh, I don't hunt, I don't like that. Get over that, that's not relevant. Socks are socks. Now, if you get past that, then you're all good. So what I'm gonna do is show you that these socks are actually a great way to use them or a great tool to use with your larger boots here. I've got my little light hikers all the way up to my malaise for super cold mountains. Now, you look at this sock and it looks like crazy long and ridiculous like those 1980s knee socks, right? Well, kind of, but when you get uh, you, when you go out and you buy hiking socks or heavy hiking socks, this is about the length. But compare that to the hunt sock, you can see that there's actually quite a bit of extra length on this sock. So let me give you a couple of the specific measurements first, and then we'll talk about that. So these socks, if I measure them from end to end, just naturally curved, they measure a good uh, about 18 inches, 18 times 2.5. And so they're 18 inches, or for my European metric friends, that's 45 centimeters. Compare that to the regular traditional hiking sock that Smart Wool puts out. And this sock is, let me mush it down, these are well worn, is only about 16 inches, or 16 times, uh, oops. Ah, oh, dear Lord, 16 times 2.54, there we go, is 40 centimeters. So a good full five centimeters or two inches shorter. And length is everything, right? So you can see that these are quite a bit longer. Now, you might say, why do I even care? Don't click away because I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. But you can see that these socks are extra long. The thickness on the calves is nice and they actually have this little, extra, I would say, uh, elastic to put that on your leg. I'm gonna put that sock in just in a moment to give you a comparison. Now, compare that to my mountaineering mega socks. These things are huge. I mean, they're the heaviest socks that Smart Wool makes. These are in the XL size. Compare those to the hunt length socks. Dum -da -da -dum. And the Mountaineering socks are a full three or four inches longer. Let's figure that out, shall we? So these just laying down, I mean, they're ridiculously long, are 20 inches, so 22.54, so that's 50 centimeters. I mean, these things are huge. However, downside, these are really, really thick. So unless it's super cold, like you're on the top and you're going for the summit push, uh, they're a bit much. Also, they are crazy thick if you compare these to the hunt socks, you can see the difference here. Now, not, not that the hunt socks are bad, but the mountaineering <laughs> socks are just ridiculous. By the way, full disclosure, I am not sponsored by Smart Wool. I bought these with my own money. Now compare this to the thickness to a regular heavier hiking sock, and you can see that already. It's pretty comparable, but the length is so much sweeter. And why do you care about that? Well, if you've got a regular mid-weight hiking boot, any sock will do. I mean, I've, I've even worn, irritatingly, my short little socks. And these socks do just fine. They stick up at about this height. But the, the uh, what are these, the Hunt socks, eh, that's about the height. So they definitely stick up longer. Also, if you have a problem, if you have really heavy or fat calves and you have a problem with your socks scooting down and driving you nuts as they fall down, these hunt socks have this extra elastic strap up top that attaches them higher to your calf, which is a bonus. But here's the thing, folks. When you use the larger boots, like a double mountaineering boot, my La Sportiva Baruncas, when I'm wearing my heavy hiking socks, and I jam those in, my socks just peek out. So if they start scooting down at all, it's a fight. And especially if I have my insulated gaiters on, holy dear Lord. Also, 
If you wear insulated boots like these Danner pronghorns, <laughs> same sort of thing. The sock just barely peeks out. It's uh, kind of absurd. But when you get the hunt sock and you get that bad boy in there, it peaks out several inches or you know, seven or eight centimeters, which is a really nice feature. That way, if you need to adjust your sock, they're not peeking in there and you're know, digging, but instead, you can just pull them up, so it's a really nice feature to have. Now, how much do these socks weigh? Here, I'll, uh, I'll show you the packaging, because I kept the packaging just for you. Super nice. Uh, you can see the tech info there. There we go, I'll hold that for a moment, so you can read it, it's really handy. These are large socks. In Danners, I wear 13, uh, my Malays are 47, my uh, Bronces are size 46. These guys, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, 46. And then I wear a 12, uh, was this a, or 11.5 wide in the Keens, or 45 in the EU size. So let's weigh these socks and see how much they weigh. Just to give me an idea of what you're up against. All right. So these are 3.6 ounces. I'll lock that in there. They are. 3.6 ounces, or for my grams friends, they are 102 grams. So they are definitely heavier than traditional thicker heavyweight socks. But compare that to the crazy, oops, turn the scale off, to my crazy Summit Mountaineering socks. <laughs> oh, these things are insane. Okay, these Mountaineering socks are a whopping almost six ounces, or, 168 grams. So for the gram counters out there, the Hunt Sock may be a good choice, even though they are not as warm as a mountaineering sock. The Hunt Socks, boy, that is a huge advantage. Uh, also, I'm gonna put a, uh, links to everything in this video. I also have videos reviewing all these boots and socks, so you can check that out, check it in the description. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put these socks on so you can actually see how they fit on my legs. I am six feet tall. I've got a, a 32 inseam, so you can get an idea. So let's cut away to that. All right, here we go. So here's a comparison with the traditional heavyweight smart wool hiking socks. They come up to about one third on my calf. They are quite comfortable. I've used these for like literally decades. By the way, the people who ask me right now, uh, 32 inch inseam translates to 80 centimeters inseam. So just give you an idea of my leg length, but look at the, dif the difference between, yeah, this is pretty cool, huh? The difference between the Hunt sock and the regular smart wool sock that is a huge difference. So even though the length measurement, that's a good 4.5 inches, 4.5, or 11 centimeters. I mean, that is a huge difference there. So these guys, one of the potential problems is, as you're hiking, they scoot down inside your mountaineering boot, and there's no way to get at those, but that extra four inches or 11 centimeters or thereabouts, makes a huge difference on your leg. So you can check that out there to see how they look on my feet. Compare that to the regular sock. All of a sudden, this sock looks a little silly, as short as it is, but it's a traditional sock. And now I'm going to compare this against the Mountaineering Ultra Summit sock, just to show you how ridiculous this thing is in comparison even though I wouldn't wear this unless I'm going for the summit. So there we go, all right. <laughs> Love these things. Love socks. Okay, now you can see that even though the summit socks, the mountaineering socks, are much bigger and they measure longer out on the table, there is only about one inch, maybe a one and a quarter inch or three centimeters difference. So it's surprising that even though on the table, this sock looks shorter than the Summit sock, the Hunt socks are really, really close to the Mountaineering sock. You can see that they, the Mountaineering socks envelop my calves better, but boy, these are super nice. And I'll show you the difference in my Sportiva cubes here. Size 46, oh, glorious. Check that out. 
I mean, how high my sock sticks out of this boot for a lightweight climbing boot is huge. It is super nice. Now look at my insulated Danner boots, hunting boots traditionally. Check these things out. I mean, the socks stick out so much higher above the boot. It's super, super nice. And then compare that to my Baruntzes, the Sportiva Baruntzes. Yeah, check that out. I have zero problem with the sock disappearing. Normally the socks are about here, so you get about two or about five or six centimeters of difference there. But that is a huge, huge difference that makes all the problems of your socks slowly disappearing into your mountain boots and then in your gaiters completely go away. So it's definitely a really cool option for you to have. So as you can see, these Smart Wool Hunt socks, let me get the glare off there, are pretty sweet. They're a great option for hiking and climbing, uh, hunting where you've got tall boots and you have that irritation of your regular sock disappearing down, or you have real heavy calves or whatever the physiology of your body is, your socks scoot down. And also they, being they had, uh, the advantage of being longer is they're also warmer. So if you end up with freezing, cold toes and whatnot, cover more of your calf with the Smart Wool Hunt Sock and you will stay warmer in your cold adventures. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my shows, World Beyond and Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps me out bring this info to you. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy, whoops, your socks. <laughs>